Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a follow-up video on a, another video on my channel and that is about the link cable for the Quest 2. So I wanted to do a follow-up video because I want to do a little bit more, uh, a more rounded video covering uh, the topic and this basically covering why your Oculus link cable uh, may not be working. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, we're going to go step by step over some of the basics. But first, let's just understand what we're dealing with and what the technology is. So first up, to basically use um, type C, you're going to need a compatible motherboard with either a rear external type C connector on the back of the motherboard or have a front panel compatible type C connector on your motherboard. Now, this is the first reason why you may not be having um, a connection with your link cable is it could be very, something very simple that your PC, for example, the Li and Li 0011 dynamic PC case comes with a front type C connector, but a lot of motherboards at the moment, for example, my X470 motherboard, although it has a rear type C connector, it doesn't actually have a front port for the type c connector so my type c connector isn't actually connected to anything so um, again if you didn't build your computer yourself and you bought it pre-made from a shop you might find that your type c connector doesn't work anyway so that is something to uh, consider okay so we've jumped on the computer and this is direct from oculus themselves now not all graphics cards are compatible with the oculus link cable and that is not just the oculus link cable that is the same for some third party cables for example i'm currently using the kiwi the kiwi usb type 3 connector and we'll cover this in a minute um, but again like i said we'll come back to this um, but on the oculus uh, website we can see here that for example the titan z is not currently supported the GTX 1060, the free gigabyte card is not supported. Again, this is a very popular card, the 1060. Obviously here, the six gigabyte version that is supported, so that should work fine. Then we got the 1060 for mobile, so that's if you're using a laptop. Uh, 1070 is fine, 1080 is fine. So 1650, so the, the basic 1650, which again is quite a popular card at the moment, isn't supported so uh the 1650 super that is um supported then we got the 1660 1660 ti and most of the 2000 well, all the 2000 series cards they're all supported and again a lot of those cards um like for example the 970 is supported but the 1060 free gigabyte version is not which is a bit a bit bizarre so again just double check that your graphics card is on this list of supported GPUs for the Oculus Link cable. Okay, coming down, we got the AMD GPUs. So we've got the 2000 series and the 3000 series. Again, a lot of those cards are quite old now anyway. The 4000 series cards, again, that's another popular series of graphics card. They are all supported. So that's like the 470, the 480, 5 series. So we've got the 570 and 580. Again, those are very popular cards. And again, they're all supported. So that should be should be fine um, and then we got some of the newer 5000 radeon series and the vega series so again double check that your graphics card is supported and again you might find that if your pc is very old um, you might have compatibility issues so double check your graphics card is supported okay so just like i covered in my last video you want to make sure that you have the chipset drivers installed for your motherboard and for your socket type. For example, I'm using an AMD processor. So this is a 3800, no it isn't, it's a 3700 um, AMD CPU. So I've got the X470 drivers here on the AMD website. Now you do need to download these from AMD. Unlike Intel, we will go over that in a moment. So on the motherboard manufacturer's website from ASRock, you won't find any of this. You'll just find some, I think you see the, do you see the LAN drivers? No, the, the audio drivers, I think I think you see on there. The rest of it is all done through AMD. So once you download the X470 drivers, obviously click Windows 10, download the chipset drivers, install them, 
and then you'll unlock the AMD power option. So one thing I did notice, and this, this actually worked for me, is if we go to power options, so just search that under the start menu, we want to go to change advanced power settings. And then under this option here, we have a drop down menu. So AMD balanced high performance, etc. So these refer, these things here refer to each power plan that you're on. So uh, if for example, we go change advanced power options, uh, we can select uh, a different power option. I always just stay on Ryzen high performance. If we scroll down, we'll see USB settings. So if you select that one there, this option here for USB selective suspend settings, click that one and you want to disable it. I don't know why, but that seemed to work for me. And that has actually helped a lot of my other USBs that were having issues with, um, with, with having the, like they kept disconnecting and reconnecting. I think because uh, for some reason, if you have it uh, enabled, it will, if you're not, it's not being used or something, it will just suspend the power to it. Something weird like that. So I just leave it disabled. So that actually solved my issue to begin with, why I couldn't get my link cable connected. Um, if you're with Intel, you want to go, so this is Intel. Um, you want to go to your motherboard manufacturer's website and make sure you have the latest drivers downloaded for your motherboard. Uh, that way you you know, you're going to have no issues with the onboard, um, type C connector. Okay. So on the screen at the moment, we've got the Kiwi design quest to link cable. Now it's 33 pounds for a five meter one. So that's the same length as the Oculus link cable. Now I actually returned my Oculus link cable because it kept doing my head in. It's a fiber cable. So what that means is your data is being transferred over a fiber connection, meaning inside each of the USB ends, inside the actual type connectors uh, in the plastic, there should be a little like decoder and a little, a little device that transfers the information. And then you've got a copper cable that runs through as well, which delivers the power. So you can simultaneously charge the headset as well as streaming the data and playing the game. Okay. So that is something to consider if you are going to buy a third party cable. Now, the reason I particularly like the third party cable is the speed of the transfer data is really not far off. So we're still looking up to five gigabits a second. If you use a USB 3.2, USB 3.2 connector on your motherboard. Now standard USB type three, this is actually misleading because obviously um, most motherboards will probably have um, USB type three um, connectors. So you're actually only looking at about I think about two and a half gigabytes a second transfer rate. But again, we'll cover that in a minute because again, to me, it doesn't matter too much. The USB type three still transfers enough data for me to be able to play the quest in full resolution and full um, uh, refresh rate. So I'm using this cable at the moment. This is the Kiwi design one. Uh, again, it's one third of the cost. You can plug it into a standard USB um, connector on your motherboard, obviously a type three connector. Uh, at the moment you can't charge it and um, so you can't charge it and use it for data at the same time, if that makes sense. So if you're, if you're streaming your game, you do need to turn it off um, to then charge it. So if you're a power user and you're using it all the time, then maybe that cable isn't for you and you would probably want to go with the, um, the regular Oculus link cable. However, the link cable from Oculus is three times as expensive. You have more issues trying to use the type C connector. Um, it's completely up to you, but I know this one works very well for me. <clears throat> okay. So similar to the actual, um, Oculus link cable, the third party cables also only support certain graphics cards. So again, this could be the reason why you're not seeing a connection. Uh, it's exactly the same. Actually looking at the list, it looks like, yeah, it's the same list of graphics cards. Um, I don't know why it must be something to do with the actual card itself. 
Um, but again, so this is the same list here as um, as the one officially from Oculus. Okay, so let's quickly talk about speeds. This is actually irrelevant, really. So I play a lot of the Quest 2 via the wireless uh, virtual desktop. Now, over a 5 gigahertz frequency router, so a dual band router with 5, five gigahertz, my connection between my headset and my router is about 800 megabytes a second. And I get a really good experience playing, playing games over Wi-Fi. Um, if you're cranking up the resolution and the, um, the refresh rate, uh, you may have some issues. But again, I'm playing on high settings with 90 hertz refresh rate. And it runs really well using the Nighthawk, I think it's the R7000 router. Yeah, R7000 router. Um, so that is 800 megabytes a second transfer speed. Now, if we look at the graph here, we can see, so USB type C, the Oculus cable should go, I think up to, up to 10 gigabits a second, I think. Your connection speed, however, will probably be up to five gigabytes a second using the type C connector, I think. So, USB type 3, half that, I reckon. So maybe, ah, here we go, look, 5 gigabytes a second um, transfer speed using um, USB type 3. However, like I said, over wireless, I've been running games fine at around 800 to a gigabit a second connection speed. Uh, and then if I plug the cable in, so this is the Kiwi cable, currently got the USB... Type C connector plugged into a USB Type 3 port. This is the Kiwi design cable. Uh, if we do a data connection test, let's see what sort of speeds we are getting. So this is plugged into a USB Type 3 connector. There we go. We get 2.1 gigabytes a second using the Type 3 connector. Wireless, we're looking at between 800 megabytes and one gigabytes a second. And again, I've had a really playable experience using that. And then if we use the Type-C Oculus cable, theoretically, we could get a maximum speed of five gigabits a second or higher. And you can also charge the headset while playing. So if that, again, is important to you, I would go for the Oculus link cable over a third party um, but again i only play my quest for about two hours anyway and in that time i've never ran out of, of of battery i just pull it back on charge again so okay so let me just summarize this video for you first check your graphics card is compatible that's step number one check the list on oculus website is your computer up to date and is your graphics card compatible Step number two, if you're with AMD, you want to download the latest chipset drivers for your motherboard, okay? Step number three, go to your power options, select high performance, edit settings, USB settings, selective adaptive suspension thing, click disable. Next, if you're with Intel, you want to make sure you go to your motherboard manufacturer's website, Download and update all of your latest drivers on, on your motherboard. Step number four, make sure your computer is up to date with the latest, probably Windows 10. I'm not sure if there's any compatibility issues on previous versions. Step number six, check if you're using a front panel connector that it is actually connected to something. Because again, a lot of cases, for example, my one has a type C connector on the front, but it doesn't connect to anything because my motherboard does not have a uh, front panel supported IO connector. Step seven, make sure that your USB, if you're using a type three connector is actually connected to a type three and the blue ones on the back or step eight, Make the decision whether or not you want a third party cable and you want to lose out on that functionality of charging the headset at the same time as playing the headset. Uh, my Kiwi design one is great. Uh, I really like it anyway. If it breaks, I can just buy another one without worrying too much because it's a lot cheaper. It's the same length 
and at £33 it's uh, a bargain over the one from Oculus and in fact on Oculus's website if you go up here somewhere there is actually a recommended third party cable uh, Anchor Anchor cable there we go so on Oculus's website they recommend the third party cable of Anchor also consider maybe playing the VR in virtual desktop mode because having no wires is currently my favorite thing. So I got wireless headphones and I got wi no wire no wires going to my to my quest. And um, for me, that is actually the best experience. Yes, I get a lower um, data transfer, um, but again, who cares? I'm playing fairly low res games anyway. And if I get um, a decent um, playable experience, why does it matter? Okay, so that rounds up my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know if I've covered, I'd like to think I've covered everything in this video. Um, if you could think of anything, any reasons why your Oculus Link cable is not connecting. Uh, for me, I had to send mine back because it was just doing my head in. Um, I bought the USB Type 3 one just so I had the versatility of being able to plug it into any um, USB on my, um, on my motherboard. So yeah, I sent that one back. Um, if you if you could think of anything, please leave it in the comment section. Please hit the like button. Um, I appreciate it a lot. And if you could subscribe again, it would help me out loads. See you in the next video. Thanks very much. Goodbye.